perfect time for making um, a hedgerow chutney. So I've been out doing some blackberrying and this is the second batch I've collected, very heavy rain. So I'm ready to make the chutney now. In order to make hot hedgerow chutney you'll need two tablespoons of olive oil, two finely chopped red onions, uh, two to three centimetres long piece of finely chopped ginger, so we bought some ginger from the supermarket for that one. You can use two de-seeded large red chilies which are chopped. Um, I'm changing this, I'm going to use chilli paste instead. Um, a kilogram of blackberries, that's just what's been picked off the hedgerows by me. Okay, as you can see, there's your blackberries. And uh, some caster sugar, luckily got the last one in the supermarket uh, the other day. And 60 mils, we're using red wine vinegar. Okay, there you've got mustard seeds there, and you've got your red onions finely chopped. You've got your ginger and some chilli paste there. And some uh, Dijon mustard, French mustard. You put your olive oil in your pan first and gently warm it up. Add your ingredients, that's your chopped onions, your, your French Dijon mustard, your mustard seeds, um, chilli paste in our case, of course you can use your real chilli if you want, and your chopped ginger into your olive oil. Okay, it all goes in. And this, this is for making your hot hedgerow chutney. Okay. There you go, sizzling away. Give it a bit of a mix. Ooh. Smells aromatic already, even without the blackberries added there. And then of course you've got to do caster sugar. You'll be needing 90 grams of that. Let's give this little these ingredients a little stir. And you've got your 60 mils of red wine vinegar handy for when it's needed. The next bit we'll be adding blackberries and then cooking gently once the uh, other ingredients have been simmered. Okay, so after about four to five minutes, it took a bit, a little bit longer in this large pan. This pan here is actually a pressure cooker pan, um, and it's softened. You can see the mixture's really softened now, and then you're ready to add your blackberries. Then, so a kilogram of um, hedgerow blackberries here. Um, these are a mixture from down the allotment, and also I do grow them in the garden. Vicious, vicious thorn. So, sort of pick ten, get cut once. But uh, there you go, no game without pain I'm afraid. So you've got your blackberries there, there's a good kilogram. This particular recipe is very blackberry heavy. You will find other ones which don't have so many black. But to me, I just think, you know, you've got to make it all hedgerow. So that it gives you memories then during the winter um, of your late summer, which is when the blackberries ripen here in the UK. With this particular recipe, um, once you've added your blackberries, you need to cook it gently again, 45, 45 minutes. Then you add your sugar, your red wine, vinegar, and combine them. Then bring the whole thing to the boil, simmer gently for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's been reduced and thickened. Um, you'll need jars with seals. You can, if you have, got them your waxed, your waxed discs. Um, I tend to use cling film and add the lids because these. Uh, jars, this, they really do seal. You'll often need to put um, blunt, a blunt knife uh, underneath just to lift the seal. You need to store this hot head throw chutney for three months to allow its flavours to fully mature and mellow before eating. So it will be winter now in uh, mid to late August, so it won't be ready until late November coming up for the Christmas season. You go on a nice medium flame there with a kilogram of blackberries. You're going to need sufficient heat to start breaking these, um, you know, cell walls down in, in in the blackberries. And you can see it's nicely mixing in there. It's starting to reduce a little from what it was. It was really piled high. This kilogram of uh, blackberries. I tend to find blackberries do not keep even in the fridge. Best eaten on the hoof. So when well, usually if I'm down the lot and digging, I'll sort of do a bit of digging and then when um, you know, when you when you get a bit of back pain and stuff like that, and you feel need need a little little shot of uh, carbs, you uh, you know help yourself with some nice blackberries, and that that of course gives you a nice uh, boost of vitamin C. Black some black currants are still uh, clinging on to my bushes in the front garden. 
I grow these all over where I can. I notice that blackbirds seem to like blackberries. Now we're adding the sugar, that's the caster sugar. Uh, 90, 90 grams of that. As you can see it really has reduced down. It's very aromatic this. Mmm. Not as strong as when, when you're making um, other sort of chutneys that I've made before. So it's quite tangy this. Then you're ready to add your red wine vinegar. And it needs a really good mix in there. As you can see it's returning the heat up a little there. You need to bring it to the boil and simmer gently then for 15 to 20 minutes until reduced and thickened. That's the stage that uh, I'll now turn the heat up on. This is actually a pressure cooker um, pan that I'm using. You can use, you, you do need a very large saucepan basically to distribute the heat evenly around the mixture. So it's basically you do have to stay with the chutney and get the mixture going really. After 15 minutes it's starting to reduce and it's really taking on a dark claret hue. What's nice about this hedgero, hot hedgerow chutney is it's not as vinegary as other chutneys, as other spicy chutneys. So it's going to be more about the blackberries which is good for winter and it's got a lovely sort of wintry Christmassy colour to it, beautiful red. Look at that simmering away on a fairly medium heat as you can see. When it gets to the point where you can feel the viscosity increasing, it does start to um, bubble up quite furiously and you'll feel that as you're stirring it that it really is increasing in viscosity, getting closer to being ready then. And the jars as you can see on to the side here are ready. Um, we're using the original jars, uh, jam jar covers that labels are washed off where possible and a bit of cling film and then sealed. Okay so it's reached maximum viscosity now 15 to 20 minutes later so we're ready now for pouring into the jars. It is incredibly hot so basically it's probably best to pour it into something like a Pyrex bowl as such and then transfer into your uh, clean sterilised jam jars. Okay, so pour it in. Um, Pyrex container I've got here. Uh, it's a litre. It'll take just over a litre. I mean, it's marked up to a litre when you've got all of your um, hot hedgerow chutney in there. Give it a good scrape there. It's quite viscous. Blackberries don't seem to reduce as much as other, you know, acid fruit, there'd, al there'd always be you know, a certain a certain amount of um, runniness about them, but then that, that sort of adds to the charm of the winter chutney. As we said earlier, it takes three months for this um, stuff to mature um, once jarred, so, you know, have a bit of patience. Remember, be very careful, it's incredibly hot. These are old pickle jars or gherkin jars which have been washed cleaned out one jar full. I mean it doesn't doesn't make a, a huge amount of chutney but then the thing with blackberries is they don't ripen all at once so you can as and when you can you know garner your blackberries from the hedgerow or in our case from the garden or down the bottom of your lot. And be careful take care of course the very thorny the varieties we use uh, tend to find them more tasty than the thornless ones. Mine thornless ones haven't ripened yet Good luck then with making your um, hot hedgerow chutney. Just as a little taster, um, a little bit has been put into a smaller jar. This one's still warming. We have, I mean, we'll just put a bit of clink on, on, and then we can sort of taste it rather than having to wait for the um, three months for it to mature to see how it is. As a variation on the recipe, you could always add some apple and sultanas. Here we've added some um, apples from the allotment, which is red bramleys, and some sultanas. Adding them at the early stage, but and you're still going to put the blackberries in, just for a variation. We go mixing in the blackberries into 
This is a variant on the hot, hot, hot hedgerow chutney. This one's had some sultanas added and some um, red bramley added to see if we can give it just a little bit, little bit more body.